everybody, my makeup collection series continues with a look at my face products. What I've got is pretty much a big container that stores my foundations, my powders, uh, and my concealers. So I'll take you through that. Also the way I've stored some skincare items and then blushes and bronzers as well. So let's get started. When you're talking about face makeup, um, my routine begins with skincare. So what I have here is a little container that I got from Target. I got it from the one spot works great for me and I've got some of my favorite moisturizers here that I use the most I love Aveeno positively radiant I love Aveeno ultra calming also have the positively radiant tinted moisturizer which is great I've got max strobe cream which is fun for sort of a more luminous dewy look a couple here from clean and clear that I enjoy I've just got my tweezers right on the outside of that container got my kabuki brushes here as well my temp to airbrush is nearby so that's all Already plugged in and handy to use whenever I need it and this is really great I love this uh, double-decker spice rack that rotates cheap as can be from Walmart and it works great for storing my skincare primers things like that so I love the clean and clear Persa gel that is a great zip fighter I've also got my primers here like my smash Moss photo finish light my uh, hard candy sheer envy primer palladio and stuff like that. Got one from Laura Geller here. I also happen to store my brow products right up here. Not sure why um, they've just created their own special little area there. So um, I've got a heated eyelash curler up there as well that I don't especially like, but it's there. <laughs> a couple little containers here that I filled with beads to stick some smaller brushes down in and some tools, but more on that in my tools video. Down here, um, we're talking more moisturizers, more primers. That's a great primer for from Mali. I've got my mini philosophy hope in a jar, an old eczema prescription treatment right there. Um, let's see what else. My CoverGirl Smoothers Tinted Moisturizer that I love. And just a lot of other moisturizers. I've tried different ones from Lancome and Clinique and Olay. So down below I have a lot of my face products for like foundation, powders, concealers. So like your non-color type face products. I've also got right here, this is a little cute as can be container that I got from Target. It's got colored hearts on it. And this has my Temp2 AirPods here so I've got like foundation blush bronzer and then I've got a few different like highlights and the whole uh, self tanning system that I'll be reviewing soon for them so up here at the top I've got my concealers I've got kind of a wide range of course I've got those really kind of rich creamy ones like Bobbi Brown Benefit Erase Paste I've got some quads from Coastal Scents and a little set down there from Hard Candy that I don't enjoy so much <laughs> um, I've got some stick concealers here and some in some tubes that I don't use so much like Mary Kay but I do love Revlon Photo Ready so I have that got one from Boots here number seven that's pretty good a few stick concealers from like NYC and Wet n Wild that I think are rather drying um, over here some rich and creamy kind of concealers again Laura Geller the real deal concealer is fantastic coverage a few from Mally here her concealer system is nice and brightening for under eye and uh, bare minerals summer bisque is a nice topper for any of these concealers that I've said have been subpar that's a nice way to make them full coverage all right, in the drawer below, um, I've got my powders. These are powders that are pressed. Um, some are powder foundations. That's what's in the pink here. And then behind that are just normal light coverage pressed powders. So I've got my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. Still working on that small size. I tell you, it lasts forever, but I've got a big size waiting for me. Love that. Um, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. In terms of drugstore powder foundations, a couple of my favorites are Milani Multitasker and Maybelline Pure Stay. Really good. Um, got one from Lancome, one from Too Faced. Back here we're looking at like Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. I've got Revlon Color Stay, one from Clinique. Uh, cover girl and in the back some that I just don't use as much I've got a Milani minerals one that I'm not 
too terribly fond of. And I've got like the hard candy welcome mat, which is not that great either. Down here is the foundation drawer. So um, yeah, I've got all kinds of liquid foundations. I really turn to liquid foundations a lot as I get ready for work in the morning because I find the coverage is good and so is the staying power. So I've got my Rimmel Lasting Finish, my Maybelline Super Stay, also um, a kind from MAC here, the Pro Longwear, which I've enjoyed. Um, got one from Lancome, some more Rimmel kinds there, um, Revlon Photo Ready, a few Coastal Sense HD foundations, and some Neutrogena and L'Oreal. I've also got down here like Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse, Dream Smooth Mousse, and a couple of like compact foundations from Mali and Revlon. And all the way at the bottom, we're looking at some of those hard to store products like loose powders, which are gen generally pretty big, and then some of those mineral powders like the ones from um, L'Oreal that come with the big brush on top. I've got some of the um, Bare Natural powders and they're just not easy to store so fortunately I've got a large drawer to put them in. I've got some other Temp2 products, a couple of the uh, Retouch um, things for Temp2 so that's there. The top shelf of my bookshelf here is pretty much devoted to blush and bronzer so I've also got some highlight products as well. You might have noticed these because these are the ones that got the lovely uh, jeweling <laughs> with the hot glue gun in that video before. Um, gosh, it's going to be really hard to look in here. But uh, these are cream highlighters. I've got a lot of those e.l.f. sticks and the e.l.f. like shimmering facial whip and a little palette from Smashbox there. Um, right here, cream blushes. I've got one matte cream blush, one from Laura Geller. I love the New York color cream sticks from NYC so those are really great for uh, an affordable cream blush that lasts you a while. I've got a couple from Sonia Kashuk there as well. Getting into the powder blushes, um, these are divided up by color so at the top here these are my pinks. So anything pink and rosy I've got up here. So I've got my MAC, what one is that? That's uh, Dolly Mix. I like that one. I also really enjoy the e.l.f. Um, studio blushes. I think they're nicely pigmented. Milani baked blushes are the bomb. Also got Physician's Formula there, CoverGirl Cheekers, and Hard Candy and Living Doll, which is a great um, pink blush. Down below that, I've got my coral and peachy blushes. So uh, one from Tarte that I think is gorgeous, one of those Amazonian clay blushes. Again, with the e.l.f. studio, you're going to see a lot of that. Milani Minerals, Milani Baked Blushes, one NYX blush, and more CoverGirl Cheekers. You're going to see some recurring themes. I like CoverGirl Cheekers, I like Milani Minerals, and I like e.l.f. Studio. So um, I've got here is uh, more or less contouring blushes or those that are a little more bronzy in nature. So like Milani Baked Blush in uh, Rose Dioro is a little, you know, not quite your brighter, pinkier blush. I've got some different CoverGirl Cheekers, and I've got my contouring blush and bronzer from e.l.f. that I love. Back in the back, um, got a couple from Neutrogena, got an older um, thing from Smashbox to contour with. Down below, um, I've got some finishing powders like my e.l.f. HD powder, my Little Makeup Forever. Go for the e.l.f. It's cheaper and it's still really Mally good. Mally has a finishing face product and a poreless face defender and then some more of those Maybelline Dream Mousse blushes in the back. This container is all about bronzers and highlights. So up at the top is where my highlights live. So I've got a lot of these Physicians uh, things with strips. So I've got one from Physicians Formula and others that I got on major discount when they were being discontinued from Milani. So the Glimmer Stripes, I've got quite a few of those there that I got great deals on. Um, more Physicians Formula here. I love their highlights. I've got uh, my little Lorac Spotlight Powder, um, a Laura Geller Neapolitan style uh, highlight there. So, And then below that, I've split my bronzers up into shimmer and matte. So in the shimmer drawer, I actually have a lot of them. Um, I've got the Milani Baked Bronzers. So um, I've got those in the light and medium and dark. I've got Hard Candy back there, one from MAC. Um, Wet n Wild, Mega Glow, so um, yeah, those are shimmery, and then for the matte drawer, I don't have quite as many, but I do have still quite a few. Um, NYC Smooth Skin, 
Laura Geller um, Bronze and Brighton Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I've talked about those so much. I've also got Rimmel down below there. And this cute one from Physician's Formula that looks like a little, um, what's that called? Like a little cashmere sweater. Yeah, that's what that's all about.